Hello, it's time to put my face in front of the camera, unfortunately, and talk about the most useful photographic invention since sliced bread. Everybody should own one, and I know you're going to go, Well, you've already made a video about camera straps. It's like, yeah, I know I have, so. Let's make one about the most useful camera strap instead of the most comfortable and the most durable one. Talking about, ta-da, black rapid camera straps. Um, well, this one even comes printed with Nikon's logo on it, so you can be a complete company shill. Um, my personal preference is the, uh, the uh, what is it, the, uh, I forget the name, it's the slingshot or the cross shot, and then the other one is the curve. The curve doesn't hold as well, the cross shot uh, is my favorite. It's got rubber padding for the shoulder, it doesn't come with the, uh, the pit strap, it's called the brad strap, excuse me. They call it the brad strap, it goes underneath your armpit here because it goes underneath your pit. Therefore, they call it the Brad Strap. Get it? Brad Pitt. Um, I was working for a photographer down in Daytona Beach as I was going to photography school. and The owner came back from vacation. He's like, he's an English chap. And he goes, oh, it's so nice we hired you. I heard what a great studio photography you are. You're working out really well. And uh, I said, uh, oh, did you hear that? And he said, no, I knew it immediately as soon as I saw you. I heard that you're really good in our studio taking water shots. We actually had a little studio in the back of the, uh, the camera store, and I said, how did you know that from seeing me? He said, when I saw you, I knew you had the perfect face for the camera. I said, well, what does that mean? It means that I knew it belonged behind the camera lens and never in front of it. I was like, hey, yeah, thank you. Fucking asshole. <laughs> I mean, anyway, these are, these are the Black Rapid, uh, Black Rapid camera straps. They are just effing useful, they're the bomb, they're the, the, the diggity, or whatever the hell the uh, these young teenage punks are calling it now. Right now I've got a, Nike, a really heavy Nikon uh, D700 uh, with the vertical grip on. And um, what's so useful about these? Well, first you've got two locking positions. One down here, so you can lock it at any spot on your body, either in front or behind. So, I like to lock mine right about here. You have a quick detach link, which opens up for security. However, I actually attach, and it, uh, the curve actually comes with one. A strap to the regular uh, lanyard loop for uh, regular uh, neck straps. It attaches down here in case this ever unscrews on you. That, your camera is still secure. However, I've actually never heard of anybody. You actually have to unscrew this like a carabiner link. Take it out, and it comes off the link right there, so that screws in the bottom, and then you snap it in, screw in your carabiner, and then you lock over a plastic latch right here, so very secure, but you're able to adjust both of these points right here, and say you're actually taking a jog, which my fat ass hasn't done in a while, is that you can actually take the top latch up here and secure it down here so that your camera is secure between this little, tiny little gap, so obviously like if uh, you're taking you know, you're running to something, or you're uh, actually uh, shuffling, or you're actually got a bunch of gear, and your camera's not flopping around doing this number, it secures your camera in place. It's so much better than the camera hanging off your front, or off your shoulder, or it can fall off your shoulder. It's really the most useful frigging tool in the world. Um, I wouldn't say they're actually pricey. I think uh, the cross shot, which I'll show you in a second over here, I've got three of these things. This one, even though it's marked Nikon, is made by Black Rapid. This is the cross shot. This is the rubber section, the same carabiner and uh, connector section right here for the bottom for your tripod socket for your camera. This is the cross shot, I think. Current price on these is, I think, like $33. Just the most useful thing in the world. Um, if you want to buy the Brad strap, I think it's like an additional $14. And all that does is give you greater slip control of the entire harness, actually, not. Now, with the rubber one, it does not. And however, with the curve behind there, which oddly enough, I don't like as much and I don't use it anymore, the Black Rapid Curve, is because it's all nylon, without the brad strap, the entire system can actually shift on your body like this, so this is down at your back. And leaving fat, fit, fat people like me, or you're probably thinking really fat, but whatever, fat and ugly, of course ugly doesn't count as empirical quanta, um, but here's the brad strap, it goes underneath your pit, so you actually got complete security both your camera moving here, when you're going to a shoot, bring it up here, okay, so you've got no movement on your harness, especially for street photography, I mean, you just, 
it really is unconscionable to actually think of not having a black rep and, and no, they're not sponsoring me and I'm, it sounds like a plug, but I mean, just talking about what is extremely useful and just, just freaking awesome. So, I've got quick access here, obviously taking the lens cap off would be a good idea, but this is for demonstration purposes only. Okay, right here like this, see? Take a vertical shot, same thing, quick access. And when I lock it in place, like that. Now my camera is secure right here. Just incredible. You see the back of it. Um, you can get the curve or you can get the cross shot and spend another $14 for the brad strap. The modification I made is there's actually a, a, a unbuckling point here that uh, some uh, pesky asshole could actually sneak up behind you and unlock this. I've never heard of it happening but I believe in ultimate security, especially when it comes to dropping a three or five thousand dollar camera on the concrete. Even though I've got insurance, I, you know I don't have to go through the necessity of making an insurance claim. I actually loop a nylon lanyard through here on all my black rapid uh, gear, such that it can't be unbuckled, or if it is unbuckled, my camera is still secure. And like I said, I'll show you the additional strap, like I have on my curve, which I switch back and forth. This is an additional lanyard loop, which will attach from your carabiner link up here to your regular lanyard loop on your camera such that in the eventual case that your carabiner would actually would never come loose but that your uh, your tripod socket would actually come loose in movement um, which I've actually not heard that happening but I mean they make these for a reason ultimately security is important I mean it's so easy to drop in an instant break five thousand dollars of the gear so this is the uh, cross shot. This is the one that Black Rapid makes for Nikon, which is the exact same thing. And the one that, uh, the curve actually is the one that I don't like, even though it's the more expensive of the two. The uh, cross shot is uh, 33 bucks, but it's rubber. It actually holds on your shirt better. And uh, with this I find I don't actually need the brad strap like I have on this one, because otherwise on the, uh, the curve where it can actually slide around your body, it actually stays in place. I heard something outside that was really weird. Um, stay some place on your shoulder because it's rubber. However, I'm allergic to rubber, but I never have any issue. Um, so I guess that's it. So consider getting a Black Rapid. You can see how useful it is. I can lock my camera into place down here so my drop point is wherever I want it to be. And I can make my max. I've actually I've never done that. I've always brought it up here out of the, out of the maximum throw where it's never in the way. So wherever I'm at, it's no issue, you don't have to trick stra straps out of my face, you want to take a quick shot, right there, boom, just like that. Same thing with the vertical shot, not an issue. So, consider getting a Black Rapid, um, I think this one is actually 80 bucks, only because they actually throw Nikon's name on it, and it comes with a brad strap, so, anyway, sorry you had to look at my ugly face, but uh, I couldn't show you this behind the camera, so. Thanks for watching, and uh, let me know if you got any other information or videos that you'd like me to do. I could easily crank out another thousand videos. I mean, easily. Um, last word I'll actually say about the Black Rapid straps is that these are worth their weight in gold, as far as what they cost. Well, I made an earlier video a couple days ago about the most comfortable, you know, coolest looking camera strap, the one that will last several lifetimes. You know, the Nikon one from uh, Japan that uh, is embroidered and just looks gorgeous. Um, for most people, that's what they're used to. So far as the most utilitarian, most practical, uh, get one of these black wrap. And head down to your camera store or order one from B&H or Adorama. I don't care who you order from. I'm not plugging B&H or Adorama. You know, they've got nothing on me, so. Go ahead and grab yourself a black rapid strap. And I'm working extremely hard on the website. I beg your patience for just a hair longer. And by hair longer, I only mean a few days. I've been killing myself on the website. You know I've been cranking out several videos a day. I've been sick the past few days, actually, due to a lack of sleep. I've uploaded 42 gigabytes of content to NikonFocus.com, so everyone out there that helped on the site, and, uh, you know, remember, it's your site. I mean, I put all my stuff up on there. I mean, I've got a thousand more videos to make easily, but if somebody wants to see a thousand more videos or not, however, is another question, but... Uh, 
I'll never definitely post any other comments about Android versus iPhone. Some people can't take a joke. You start talking about Androids or iPhones and people really get upset. Anyway, I wanted to say thank you all so much and that I'm working hard on the site. I don't want you to think that I'm slacking on anything. I'm checking the time limit on my camera there because obviously I flap my lips too much sometimes. Um, but you can see it here. Here's your connection point. Connection point. Just damn useful. I mean, I just can't think of not using a black rapid uh, camera strap again. Like I said, just lock you in in place. Simple as that and that. I wanted you to see the back side of it. Not that I'm modeling myself at all. Yeah, he said, uh, you've got the perfect face for photography. It belongs right behind the lens and never in front of it. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, you asshole. <laughs> what a card. Um, photographers are typically passive-aggressive assholes, so that uh, could ch could should, uh, should come as no shock to anybody. Um, well, I need to lay off the fried food, sandwiches, eating late at night, and staying up to about 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning because it's killing me, but uh, I'm still cranking hard, and uh, it's not about quantity, it's about quality. I know my videos don't have high production value, but... Hopefully they're full of content and they're really simplex, even if I flap my stinking lips too damn much. Because I know I have an issue with that, because everybody tells me, Shut up, you could have said it in five minutes, but it took you 15 minutes to say And I go, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Anyway, if you think this video, like this video, you always drop me a buck or two, or tell me to go jump off a cliff, whatever makes you the most happy. And I'll catch you later, okay?